Welcome or welcome back beautiful souls to the channel. I'm Sheik, your conscious mentor, and today I will be going over the March new moon on March 2nd, 2022, and what you need to know about this March new moon. I am so excited to do this full energy update. I will be pulling cards as I usually do so you can know what is in store. I cannot wait. There's so much energy in the space and I'm recording it in the evening and I find in the evenings I get so much deeper downloads. So you're in for a treat. So before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, put notification bells. I do videos weekly for you lovely souls and I do these new moon and full moon energy updates as well as distance energy healings here on the channel for your lovely souls to help you and support you with your healing and shadow work. And if you feel called to go deeper, I would highly encourage you to enroll in the Quartz Vortex. The Quartz Vortex is a program where you get to heal for a full year with me. And if you want to go even deeper for all the space holders, those who want to be a space holders, those who are feeling called to be a healer, and those who know that they're ready to heal and really see themselves in the purest, deepest essence of their soul being, then I encourage you to even join the Quartz Vortex 2.0, which gives you access to every single program and there is a sliding scale for that. I also have my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. There are two spots opened up for this month. So if you're interested in applying for that program, do apply down below for the Rebirth Mentorship. It's a six month to a year mentorship. And lastly is the Awaken Retreats. I am holding space in person. So many of you have been messaging me saying, Sheik, I want to meet you. I want to hold space with you in person. And you are finally getting that opportunity. So if you are interested in attending one of my retreats, DM me on Instagram, Sheika underscore Chica, and I will be more than happy to give you more information on that. Now that we shared all the ways that I can connect with you deeper and help you into the space, let's get into this March new moon and what we need to know. So for this March new moon in Pisces on March 2nd, 2022, there are five things that came through for me that I want to share with you on what you need to know. So the first thing is time to focus on mental health and healing the Chiron moon wound. Woo, Chiron, Chiron moon, Chiron mood. Oh, I can't even speak. Chiron wound. We got it guys <laughs> so your chiron wound is essentially in your birth chart and the website that i would highly suggest you looking up if you want to learn more about your birth chart besides your sun your moon and your rising which i always say and a lot of my astrology friends were like we don't really want to know about that we want to know what your north node is and your chiron because this is what you're meant to heal so your chiron are your deepest wounds and in this space we're seeing that there will be kind of this essence of um, a remembering of what these deeper wounds are during the new moon and knowing that the new moon is a representation of new beginnings new intentions so really understanding here you know what are some ways that your emotions and your chiron has been triggered during this time and as i said this guess what card came out round and round so what this card is telling me is that it's time for us to stop going full circle around and around and around and around with what we want to heal and for some of you this is an opportunity that you can finally break that cycle so you can let go of this karmic um, feeling that's coming up with this wound so let's read into this one because i this is two five so two is you know action and five is change taking action and getting off of that hamster wheel of what your chiron is being triggered by and finally not just allowing yourself to sit in that pain and this is one of the biggest things i always tell people when we go into shadow work it's one thing to know what we've gone through to know the pain that we've gone through it's another thing to actually heal it to actually hold space for that so here it's saying that the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated cycles you have challenged to break revisits this pattern of new perspective so during this time a part of your lesson and an older wound that has happened and if you look at the degree of your chiron so let's say your degree is seven that means that the age of seven is when this chiron event or this chiron event in this soul human life occurred so this can kind of give you an idea for you to sit and meditate with that point of yourself calling in that seven-year-old self calling in that 14-year-old self whatever that self is and tuning into what part of this lesson is spiraling in this space to teach me something it's being revisited because 
I need to honor these emotions to allow me to break the cycle. And keeping in mind that in February, when I went over the energy update, and if you want to go check that out, you can, that in the February one, we talked about the intention of creating. So manifestation, we had the lunar new moon around this time, so new beginnings. Now we're on March 2nd. So March 2nd, 2022, this March new moon in Pisces is like, okay, for us to make room for the new things that we've set intentions for, we got to clear out this wound, this trigger that is causing us to feel like we aren't able to bring and to call in and to trust the process even if we're starting from scratch. So I think this is really big and I want to read more of this. So the appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backwards, the truth is that you are standing at a higher level looking down at the circumstances. You will learn something, do something better, break a cycle, set up in the past. You actually have the bird's eye view. So the eagle, animal, spirit animals coming through, seeing the eyes of the eagle. How could I look at the perspective of the situation, even though my ex is coming up again, even though this period of my life that is being triggered and being reminded again, this dark period, this shadow period of my life is coming up and I'm noticing that it's blocking something here, knowing that you're at a higher level of consciousness, that there's a new lesson that lives between this old feeling. And this is an opportunity for you to break from that cycle fully. So tapping into the eagle, even if you want to call the spirit eagle animal to come and support you through your meditations during this new moon, this March new moon in Pisces, it would really help you shift your perspective. So even the shadow work prompt of saying, you know, how can I look at this Chiron wound or this, this wound that is coming up in my emotions to teach me deeper of how I can shift my perspective through this higher conscious being that I am than I was four months ago, two months ago, two weeks ago, four years ago, 10 years ago. Now, knowing that until we tap into that wound, we are all just children running around in our adult body. That really stuck with me. When we're doing this healing and this deeper work, until we tap into our soul calling, obviously free will, we are just children running away from our Chiron. We are just children running away from our soul lessons. As I say this, I see this the smoke of of the sage coming in, cleansing us all, <laughs> cleansing you, cleansing our space for that. So really tuning into that, which is huge. Another thing that's coming up is for those of you when it comes to finances for you know your Chiron, if your Chiron has anything with finances, this is an opportunity for you to find prosperity. You know, who helps you navigate this? What sabotages you in this situation? Who supports you in this situation? So if you are getting this scenario, it appears that there's an echo of something that already happened in the past in your work life. And it is because you're being invited to see what you couldn't see before. So if finances is a big part of your Chiron, this is an opportunity for you to see something that you didn't see before that was blocking you from your financial abundance. So if financial block resonates and your body's buzzing right now, this is something to ask yourself, you know, how are you maybe sabotaging yourself in a way because of this wound? What is a new perspective I can see? What is familiar that is coming through this, this experience again as it comes up? It's a good time to get a coach or a mentor who can help you see what you can't see in your own. And this is why I do my one-on-one -on -one mentorings because it allows you, I tap into the essence of the shadow, the things that you don't want to see and I allow you to see it. I hold you with it. So if that's something that you feel called to and you want to go deeper, I only take a few people at a time and it's a six month or a year commitment of us holding space together and for me to hold you fully in this deep essence. So the rebirth mentorship information applications down below if you're interested. Now let's get into the second thing that you need to know about this March new moon on March 2nd, 2022 in Pisces. So what are you insecure about with the future and trusting the process of what is to come? So some of you are not trusting, you know, you're claiming it. We, we spent the last month getting excited. We were shedding a lot, right? We were becoming that butterfly. And now it's like we are coming out of the cocoon of the butterfly and we're asking ourselves, can I fly? 
Can I trust to fly? I've never had wings. You know, you feel like you're still a caterpillar, but when you look at your body, you are a butterfly. And it's understanding that during this Pisces new moon, it's kind of this recognition that you are starting to notice whatever you are insecure about is a facade. It's, it's not real. So tuning into it and calling in yourself, for example, I'm insecure for people to judge me on my perspective, on the ways that I've changed in the past two years. Like, and this is something that I wrote down and I kid you not, spirit was like, you got to tell this to everyone. We have been in uncertainty for two and a half years at this point. You can make it through anything. If you just made it through this whole two years, regardless of your situation over two years of this uncertainty of this deeper inning of this shadow moment of the past two and a half years of what's going on with the world, then what makes you think that you can't get through this deeper essence of this Pisces new moon where it's teaching us to trust the process? Why are we so scared? Why are you so scared of trusting the process? Your insecurities is you self-sabotaging yourself. So during this new moon, it's asking you, how are you sabotaging yourself? How can I trust my process more? Let's pull out a card from Spirit for this. Ooh, okay. So some of you are acting poised. You're acting like you can trust when you are feeling insecure. Um, so a lot of you are acting like you're poised, like everything is okay, when realistically it's not okay. So being in the space of humility, tapping into humility, tapping into that space of truth, um, and not just acting like everything is gravy, you know? And knowing that a lot of the times our insecurities are the ways that we sometimes support other people. And our insecurities is the medicine that we can help. And I'm talking to healers and space holders where we can hold space with people when we heal it, when we heal that wound more than anyone else because we've been there. So again, it's all about knowing that your vulnerability is your strength. Your vulnerability of your emotions, Pisces, I'm talking to you, if you're Pisces, put a Pisces down below, is your strength in this essence, is your strength of what you can create. So how can I be open to receive during this March new moon in Pisces? It's one thing to claim what you want to manifest, but are you fully, is your heart open to receive? We just did some shedding with the Leo full moon. So now it's like we're checking in. Where are we trusting in that space? And again, I'm. it's affecting here with this you know, um, new moon, it has a lot to do with the penal gland. So we're looking at the third eye. How are we transcending? How are we, you know, seeing our vision, but also not only seeing it, but trusting it, being in that energy, knowing that it's already here, coming from that manifestation space. So claiming into that trust, I trust to receive, I receive, I am open to receive. Just repeating that affirmation down below. I trust to receive. I am open to receive. I trust to receive. I am open to receive. I trust to receive. I am open to receive. Which brings me to the next card, Loyal Heart. So some of you need to be able to receive your partners a little bit more during this time. You know, I know you've had an experience where the, you've had a wounded masculine partner, maybe for some of you. Maybe you've had a, a relationship in the past that they didn't treat you the way that you were meant to be treated. But this is an opportunity for you to reset that Chiron wound for some of you and even those deep soul wounds that might be in your North Node to allow you to release it and come into the trust of the process and knowing that the people that you dated, the friends that betrayed you, the work that didn't notice you or didn't you know recognize the work that you did or didn't appreciate you enough to hold you into that space. The um, abundance that you wanted to receive but weren't able to, all these parts of you, right? You had to get through, go through all of those wound pains, those Chiron, those North Node, play, North Node wounds, those deep wounds, those experiences for you to be prepared to trust and receive the next person who is fully ready to open and trust and receive you. The next opportunity for work that is ready to receive you because you've received yourself. The next friendship that's willing to trust you because you trust yourself. So it's all coming back to the mirror of self. So again, really doing some journaling on what are you insecure about with your future and trusting the process that comes with that. Ooh, 
I love that medicine. Let's go into the third thing you need to know about this March new moon in Pisces on March 2nd, 2022, is that inspired to take up new spiritual practices and interests. So around this time, a lot of you might feel like you want to change your rituals, your morning routine. I would encourage you to do that because now you're calling in expansion from last month you've become a butterfly. You're this beautiful butterfly shifting into this new life, into this new being, into this new consciousness that now you need to change some things around, which means that, you know, the way your values are going to affect your relationships and the type of people that you are willing to open up your energy to. So again, commit and trust those boundaries because you've made it to this point of your awakenings. You know, some of you might feel you want to change your meditation practice. Maybe some of you are kind of curious about different modalities, such as shamanic healing, such as, I don't know, herbal or plant medicines, such as a Reiki, because I know a lot of you guys are in that space as well. Whatever modalities, finding and allowing yourself to explore during this new moon of new ways to help support you in what emotions are coming up. So look at some new ways that can help you feel safe to practice your spiritual practice. And for some of you, this is a new territory because maybe you grew up with, um, you know, a family or an environment where um, maybe spirituality wasn't talked about or wasn't something that was focused, or maybe it was super heavily focused that you weren't even able to be your own spiritual being that you weren't able to explore. So here it's understanding how can I release those insecurities of what I thought spirituality was and open myself more to expand what spirituality can be for me, not for anyone else, for me. Redefining that through my meditations, through my healings, through my modalities, through just discovery and exploration. So allow yourself during this March new moon to bring curiosity through your medicine, through your through your own essence of what's coming up during this time. The fourth thing you need to know about this March new moon in Pisces on March 2nd, 2022, is that what ways have you been judged for being emotional? So this is a conversation I had with one of my... Um, Ashley at the Rose Quartz group. So for all of you who are in the Rose Quartz group and for all of you in the Quartz Vortex, this was a conversation that came up and we talked about, you know, how are we judging our emotions? And some of us have been in a family where our younger self was told by our parents or our guardians, you're being too emotional. Stop crying. Stop yelling. Stop screaming. So we created a seed of an insecurity based on someone judging us of how we should react based on an experience that we had. That's why I said when you look at your Chiron, look at the degree, that is the age of which this deep Chiron wound um, was most heightened or was created around that time. So when we're looking at that, we're asking ourselves during this March new moon, you know, how have you been judged for releasing anger, for being angry? How have you been judged for being sad? How have you been judged for, um, you know, loving having your heart on your sleeve what ways have you been judged in your relationships how have you been judged by the way that you reacted the way that you've been you know with your friendships how have you been judged at work how have you been judged you know especially right now with what's going on in the world it's you know and i'm going to talk about this in a collective reading here and download is that how are you being judged the past two and a half years through the the shadow of the world through the dark night of the soul of the world. So what judgments have come up and maybe they're coming up again that have been more highlighted the past two and a half years to allow you to free yourself, to free your ability to be more open and to let go of that self-sabotaging insecurity because you've been holding it for way too long. So let's see what cards we have for the ancestral cards. I feel like pulling out a card here. Let's see, we got a pile. <laughs> So let's see what we have. So we have the drum, dream and journey. I love this card. And the drum is honestly the medicine of the heart. So dream and journey. Hope you guys can see that, beautiful. So let's read the drum, shall we? 122. So journey inwards to uncover insight and information that will be important to your path and follow the guidance. So when we can journey through the trusting, we can journey through the wound that we have that is coming up again from the past 
and allow ourselves, even though it is irritating, it is angering, why is this coming up again? To allow ourselves to have an open heart and a new fresh eyes of the eagle. So again, the drum is allowing us to say, how can we dream and journey through this medicine to allow us to expand even deeper into that butterfly that we are right now? Then we have the white witch, be the light. So allowing yourself to be the light in this situation, no matter what is coming up through the insecurities. And we have the owl medicine here, which is all about knowledge. So knowing that everything that you need is within, there's nowhere else that you need to go but within with yourself. And let's read the white witch. So 86, take the higher road and choose the light. Remove yourself from the lower energies and experience. Even though you want to get mad and angry, allow that to come through, but don't react it on other people as a way of revenge. And you just want that person to suffer. You just want that friend to suffer. You don't want, just want this person to, I get it. Okay. I understand you're tired of people taking advantage of your emotions, Pisces, especially because this is your new moon. But at the same time, what good is it going to do? It's going to hurt you as much as it's going to hurt someone else. So the best thing that you can do is allow yourself to be the light in the situation. How can I be the light and use the light to trust this process that I'm going through? How can I use the light to trust the insecurities that are being triggered, that are opening up expansion in myself? And this brings me to the next one. And I love this card so much. My heart is just opening when I read this. Mountains, stand your ground. This is calling you guys to stand your ground, to stand in your medicine. And the mountains are so powerful. That medicine is so, so powerful. Let's read this one. I'm so excited to read this one for you guys. So 128. Hold firm to what you believe in or focusing on because it is absolutely right. Know that heaven and earth is supporting you. It doesn't have to make sense what is going on. It doesn't have to make sense what you're trusting. The human wants to make sense of everything. And during this March new moon, it's going to teach us that it doesn't have to necessarily make entire sense. It doesn't have to make sense why we make the decisions we do, why we have the feelings we do. But what we can do is just trust that the unseen, the mystery of this world is helping us and supporting us to trust in the, you know, the dream of the journey, the journey that this journey of us going into our insecurities is, is part of the medicine for us to look back and say, wow, we made it. Wow. Like where did the time go? You know, when we can focus less on the time we lost and the friendships we lost and the relationships that hurt us and all of that, instead of being in the now and saying, okay, how can I stand in my ground and be grounded in these insecurities? How can I move through this medicine and not run away from it like I did last time and be on the hamster wheel? How can I explore different spiritual practices to allow me to move through the medicine deeper, different modalities? How can I call in a mentor to help and support me through this medicine? And this is great because like I said, even in the quartz vortex, in that medicine of the space, my intention with that is to really extend and to pull people through and out of where they know themselves and into a new being, into a new essence of their energy. So get grounded in yourself and know that you are the mountain. You are the peaks, you are the ebbs and flows, but you are also the connection of the earth and the higher conscious self. So trust is here in the height, in the higher realms. And then we have the earth, which is you and your human. How can your human trust as the mountains do and stay your ground? This was powerful medicine. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's talk about the last thing you need to know about this March, New Moon in Pisces on March 2nd, 2022, is that how are you stopping yourself from expansion? So we went over the Chiron wound, the North Node wound, and how we need to focus on our mental health and not allowing that to absorb our energy. Focusing so much on the anxiety of us making things happen the way they did before, or the anxiety of this old wound coming up. Instead, focusing more on the trusting because we've made it, like we've gone through the whole two and a half years of the shadow and it will continue to test us in the collective this is just the beginning i was talking to some of my spiritual um sisters and beings and and family and i was just saying we are just entering guys <laughs> wait until you get into the next two years this was just to prepare us for all that we're willing and those who are doing the shadow work you are going to receive the abundance 
this year will be an abundant year for you. And that's what this March new moon is telling us. If we're willing to have a new fresh of eyes, to look at the eyes through the eagle medicine, you know, spirit animal, that we will be willing to receive so much. We can trust so much. So how are you stopping yourself from expanding beyond your means, beyond, beyond the human, into the quantum? I want you to reflect as a shadow work prompt during this new moon, March new moon in Pisces. How are you stopping yourself right now? What is stopping you? What are you telling yourself is stopping you? Because the only thing that's stopping you right now is yourself. And once we notice that, everything will shift. And I want to pull out another card from this deck. Trust and thrive as if this card, and we have the deer, the stag. Oh my God. This is amazing. So I need to read this one. I might even read the extended one because this just really flows so well. Ah, I'm just so happy. So let's look at the stag. Oop, stag 132. Come alive and thrive. Stand in your light and glory and grace of majesty. The stag card brings graceful, powerful medicine into your life. It is the Celtic tradition. The stag is the crown of the antlers and is known for the king in the forest and the, to the totem that brings protection in the challenging times. In the Native American traditions, he is greatly loved for stags and deer, have provided food for the people and materials that have allowed them to create medicines such as drums, rattles, and smudge fans. So although the stag has been hunted in the past and still is, he is a strength, dignity, and poise. We talked about poise, that card came up. How can we be poised and graceful using that double-edged sword of the meaning of poise, graceful in our insecurities? How can we embody them in a way that we don't attach ourselves to them, but we allow ourselves to see the truth through our insecurities when the card arises it represents fertility and sexuality maybe an opportunity to explore your sexual side with the spiritual integrity to supporting you in your journey so this is calling us to tune into that essence of pleasure and excitement and focusing less on up here you know the human remembering that we have to balance the two spaces the spiritual and the human experience and the spiritual in this new moon is all trust. It's testing us on trust. For those of you who haven't been trusting, this is where you're gonna have a wake up call. For the human, for those of you who need to hold space for you know the power to claim that for expansion, to really give yourself that confidence boost, this is where this new moon is gonna hold you. So bring some new intentions of how I can trust more into this new season of the moon, and then also how I, my human can experience more you know, enjoy more of this expansion journey as opposed to seeing those older lessons coming through as, as a burden, because it's not. The more we see it as a burden, the more it will become a burden from our eyes. So I love that card so much. Let's finish with an affirmation. I love doing these with you guys. They're so much fun. Let's finish with an affirmation. Oop, here we go. Here it is. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So without the movement of this Chiron, this insecurity that has arise, this North note that has arise, that has been triggered through the emotions of the Pisces new moon, that we can't change. One of my favorite things I love to say is without a trigger, there is no change. Without a trigger, there is no openness. There's no expansion. So when we get triggered, even though it is uncomfortable, it is an opportunity and it's a wake up call that you have just outgrown that part of your life. That there is something that has to shift in that part of your life. And there's a calling of your soul and this is where a universe tests you. Will you trust me to make this shift even if it doesn't make sense to your human? And if you nod and you say yes, well then get prepared for some deep expansion. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. It was so nice to go over the top five things you need to know about this March New Moon in Pisces on March 2nd, 2022. I will be posting a meditation energy healing for you loves to add to your ritual. And let me know down below what resonated with you. What are you feeling after this video? Feel free to come back to this video if you want to go deeper and you want to just refresh your mind on the day of the new moon as well. And I also want to share that don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, put notification bells because I do these videos every single week. 
every single month and videos every week for you lovely souls but energy updates every single month and if you feel called to go deeper into your healing and you're ready to really move through the medicine of your chiron your north node and really see this transformation enroll in quartz vortex it is the deepest medicine and i'm so happy to see all the shifts that i've seen so if you feel like the calling to join quartz vortex i would highly suggest quartz vortex 2.0 there's so much medicine that I'm putting in there and you get access to every single program I launch. If you want deeper essence, join the Rebirth Mentorship. The application link is down below or at the Awaken Retreats. You can DM me for more information to enroll. That is it. I love you all so much. Happy March New Moon in Pisces and I will see you soon.